Karen Jetley Life. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today we are going to discuss how we can convert a number stored in IEEE 754 standard to decimal. So guys, for the full video, all of you stay tuned. So guys, suppose our stored number is C1C60. Okay, so this is our stored number. Stored number in IEEE. Seven five four. Okay, this is our stored number C one C six zero. Okay, so now you all of you know after we convert the number to I triple E floating point, so then it is stored in hexadecimal format. Okay, so it is stored in hexadecimal format, and now we want to convert it back to the original binary number. Okay, so first thing what we have to do is first thing what we have to do is convert this number to binary convert this number to binary so what is c c is 12 what is 1 1 is 1 then what is c c is 12 6 is 6 and 0 is 0 okay so step 1 convert this number to binary okay so to convert it to binary first i will get the value what c stands for c is 12 and what is 12 in binary 12 will be 1100 0. and what is 1 in binary using 4 bits 0, 0, 0, 0001 then again 12 what is in binary 1100 0. then what is 6 0, 1, 1, 0. then what we have is 0, 4, 0. okay now what we did step one we converted this hexadecimal number to binary now step two now what is step two divide these bits into the groups of one eight and twenty three okay so i divide it in the bits of one eight and twenty three i'll use another color one then one two three four five six seven eight then rest are 23 okay now step 3 this is 2 this is step 3 so what do we do now what is this this is sign what is this this is exponent and what is this this is float part this is float part okay now take the exponent part okay convert e to decimal convert e to decimal so what is e 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So we now we convert it to decimal. So what is this? This is 1 plus 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 plus 128. So what we get here is 131. What we get here is 131. Step 4. Okay. Subtract the excess code subtract excess code and you will get the exponent so how do we get the exponent take this name number 131 minus excess 127 so 131 minus 127 gives you 4 so what is 4 4 is our exponent 4 is our exponent no step 5 Step 5. Represent the F. Write the F in scientific notation. So what is scientific name? Take 1 point F into 2 power expo. 1 point F into 2 power expo. Okay. So now what is my F? 1. What is my F? 1. Then how many zeros? 3, 1, 2, 3. Then how many ones? 2 ones. 
one three zeros to ones and rest zero 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 into two power what is my exponent exponent is four into two power four okay then step seven step seven unnormalize the number step seven unnormalize the number what do you mean by unnormalizing the number they say make this exponent four to zero convert this four to zero okay how do we do it so we need to move the decimal point four places to make us this zero so how many places we need to move this point one two three four so decimal goes from here to here and how many places we moved it four so this becomes zero into two power zero so what do we call it we call it as unnormalized number unnormalized number okay so then what is the last step i will write it here so what is the last step i hope okay now we take unnormalized number so what we get is 1 1 0 0.1 0.1 that is step 8 then comes step 8 convert this number to decimal convert this number to decimal so 24 and 0.5 plus 2 point is 75 oh oh so guys by mistake i deleted it so the first number was 12 so what was 12 12 was 1 1 and then we divided into different bits okay the first bit sign bit was 1 in this case the sign bit was 1 in this case so sign means 1 then it is minus so here you get the decimal number okay so here you get the decimal number so guys i did it in eight steps i did it in eight steps and this is how you convert a uh, i triple e 754 to decimal So guys I hope you understand this I hope you understand this and guys till now if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it now and click on the bell icon so that you do not miss any notifications I'll be uploading more and more lectures related to IT topics okay so guys all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned